Feeling discouraged when you look in the mirror, feeling like your face is looking older than you want it to. Today's products are going to help you minimize that. Well, a couple old ladies here decided to <laughs> give you a few tips. Just kidding. I never referred to myself as old. I guess you could say I am 62 years old. That's just a fact. It is what it is. Well, and, and you are. That, I'm 47. Yeah. We make old look good then. That's true. I kind of like to tell people my age because I figure as a type 3, I look pretty good, huh? You look really good. I, I, I feel like saying, I'm 62 and I look good, huh? You know. <laughs> Very type three. But we've got three products that we've chosen that we're going to show you and we're going to demonstrate how to use them as Anna Kay teaches us about why they're working and why you want to use them that will minimize the areas of the face that tend to age first. What are those areas that we're going to treat today? The eyes. Yeah, of course, the eyes. It's always the eyes. And then So we've got the crepiness up here. Crepey. It's very thin skin also. Yes, and it can be uh, damaged easily. And yeah. if there, if you have like circles under your eyes and that kind of thing, it's because that skin is so thin that it's bringing all those veins to the surface, and that's what you see. Yeah. It's not that someone hit you. So you're dealing with uh, crow's feet here, crepiness up here, mm -hmm. and you want to minimize that because eye makeup can actually often make it worse if you've not treated yes. it. And then if you don't know how to use the eye makeup properly, which you have great content on that as well. Thanks. Okay, what's our next area of the concern? The next area would be actually the whole organ of the skin. Yeah. The skin in and itself, just on the face, gravity setting in, things are kind of okay. falling, pores are getting bigger, and so our next product will kind of take care of that. And then the last one is, it's something I've dealt with, is feathering on the lip. Mm -hmm and your lip color bleeding into that. And so that is the other area we're going to show you how to prevent. You may be asking, when do I use these? This is after your skincare regimen. And yes. I have a new Carol's Healthy Skincare Regimen that was just published on YouTube. It will be on the website um, within a couple days of our publishing this video. So check that out because that's the precursor to this. And now yes, so this should be after your moisturizer, after, yeah. so you're ready, you're about ready to put on your makeup. So let's start with our eyes. Okay, let's do it. So this is called the Instant Action Wrinkle Smoother. And the trick to this is a little bit Ladies, well, yeah, the, the size bit. of a container dictates the amount to be used. So I it's love a small, that so it's you use just a small, a little small bit. amount. And you just apply it right underneath the eye. And I like to actually use my ring finger, or you can use your pointer finger, yeah. just right here. So you have a very tiny, tiny amount. See, I even like do that. like half of that. I do like this much. Yeah, because you're just tapping it under each eye. And if you put too much on, you know you've got too much on when it's got white or you see like a patch. Or it takes you too long. It should feel dry. No, yeah, it should dry pretty quickly. quickly. Look at me. Did you see magic happen before? Yeah, <laughs> like everything went, woo! It does, it makes yeah, it, it very it out. smooth. Now when you put your foundation and other makeup on top of this, if you have concealer, so you do have some um, under eye areas that you need to take mm -hmm. care of, circles, this stuff, it, you, yeah. it can go right over the top of it. It's not a problem. Here's a bonus trick. I take a little bit more and I oh, go yeah. over my I lip. Because this again is an area that has a similar aging effect to the skin up here. And I got like this one big one right here. I like to just kind of focus a little right there on my issue so, area. Now I've supported that part of my face as good. well. And I can tell that you haven't put on too much because I don't see any white or any mm -hmm. like crusty stuff. You know you've got too much when it starts to, mm -hmm. I think there was somebody who called in like, it's white, why is it so white? I'm like, whoa, you gotta cut back on that. What about bags, inflammation that oh, can It's really great for reducing puffiness and swelling, mm -hmm. anything like that. It just, it's great. magic, it's magic. So let's move to the face in general now. This next product is a support to your entire complexion, the whole surface of your skin, of your face. What is this one? So what this does is it helps to refine large lines and mm -hmm. small lines. Okay. Um, and the it, skin smoother. And it also, which I love this, helps to reduce pores. 
So if you have some larger pore areas, mm -hmm. I do, particularly around my nose. There's one in particular that I, I don't know why, it's like a deep abyss. If you have any issues like this. <laughs> Only she knows that, and that's because women do face. this. We do. We look direct. I don't anymore. Close. I don't I get do. close anymore. Abyss. I don't. There's I figure abyss. it's not a true perspective of who I am. So small <laughs> container, what's the amount we're going to need here? I just use one little pump. Okay, so again, a very Maybe small amount. Maybe a pump amount. and a half, just a little bit. And I go like this. Okay, so I have my small amount. And I've got mine on. And I just start on the inside and work out and then go up. And really, you can feel it moving on your face. Like it definitely, and I always hit the neck a little bit too. Because you're going to want to feather your foundation that way. But it really just feels quite nice. And it takes a second for it to soak in and really do the and job well. As I teach in my skincare routine video, I always move upward Yep, upward. when I'm applying anything. And I always start on my nose and then out and up because that's where my largest pore issues are. So if you did have something on your chin or maybe it was your cheeks, then you would start there and work up. But yeah, it really... It gives you a feel really brighter nice, after that, you that can see being it, applied. You can feel it. The way your makeup goes on top of this, mm, it just really makes it more of a professional look and feel mm -hmm. to everything. And I love it. The third product, the Invisible Lip Liner, is going to help prevent that bleeding into any fine lines on the upper lip. I love this. Yeah, it's like a uh, lock, locks it in. And it, there's no color to it. It's completely colorless. I wouldn't fill in the entire lip because it does kind of move that lipstick a little bit strange. But when you outline it like Carol's doing right now, it really just keeps that lipstick inside the line. You can really just do the, the top where, where you're looking for the prevention. Yeah, I, I almost, I go right above where my actual natural lip yeah, line is. Right here. And that way it stays in. Uh -huh. It stays in where it should. And then you're, you are able to put a lip liner on it. It doesn't change anything as far as where the lip liner goes. Mm -hmm. That's why I put a little bit outside that lip and this keeps it all perfectly in place. Mm -hmm. You might be concerned that this is so many products that you're kind of stacking them on top of your skin. And that's really not at all what it feels like. It feels like you're putting, enhancing your skin's health so that it is now supporting just a more youthful appearance. So it's not like you're layering makeup. Well, and you don't need to layer your makeup. If you've done this, then you don't need to layer on right, your makeup. You right. don't get a cakey feel. A lot of women will use a lot of foundation and um, powder to try and minimize an aging effect. And that looks like they're layering makeup. By the end of the day, it's over. <laughs> yeah, th this allows you to use a lot less makeup. Mm -hmm. Well, since I have been using these products, I do use a lot less makeup. Mm -hmm. it's, it's So it's good on my pocketbook. It's good on everything. You can and even it's better use, for your skin. If you just don't even, if you're not even wearing makeup that day, this stuff, these two for sure. Oh, are I've done that many times. Or very just beneficial. Like eyebrows, lashes. Now we have a bonus product here that we recommend just as a um, preliminary to applying makeup. Tell us so about this one. This is the um, retexturing a cream face primer and it is awesome and I usually do maybe a pump and maybe a half oops got a little bit there you want to try it and the reason we like to put this on is because what it does is it locks in what we've just put on our face all the great benefits of helping to reduce those lines and wrinkles and then it it allows it to be a barrier between that and the makeup so then the makeup has a place to sit on rather than be absorbed into the skin. So all of that is super beneficial and really great and it just preps your face perfectly for your foundation or concealer mm -hmm. or and both. So take a look at our before and afters. You'll see the difference in these products. Very small, small amounts make a big difference in just minimizing and it's just, it's nurturing, enriching our skin so that when we now apply makeup, we have a very natural, healthy look to our appearance. So thanks, Anna Kay. You're welcome, thank you. And what have you learned from this? What are you excited about? Share in a comment, because we really, I, my kind of new tagline is, I want to help you grow old without aging, because you just <laughs> really want to continue to be able to look in the mirror, and it's okay that you have an aging effect, but you don't need to make it more than it is. That's the thing. We do a lot of things unknowingly that will actually age us. Wrong hairstyles are the number one factor in that that women don't realize. 
that they're aging their face considerably. So we're here to support you and looking your best at any age.